Hello, today's daily reading comes from the book of Micah, chapter 4. As always stated prior to reading, get to a church that has Bible study or Sunday school where the word can be broken down and shared with you for an easier understanding. Get with some friends who break bread and just have church with one another and get some understanding. Also, get you a Bible that you can read. There are numerous versions from King James to NIV. But most importantly, and above all the things I've said, call upon the Lord. If you knock at his door, he will answer and fill you with wisdom if that is what you truly seek. Amen. Micah chapter 4 reads as follows. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's temple will be established as the highest of the mountains. It will be exalted above the hills, and people will stream to it. Many nations will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the temple of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, so that we may walk in his paths. The law will go out from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He will judge between many peoples, and will settle disputes for strong nations far and wide. They will beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up sword against nation, nor will they train for war anymore. Everyone will sit under their own vine and under their own fig tree, and no one will make them afraid. For the Lord Almighty has spoken. All the nations may walk in the name of their gods, but we will walk in the name of the Lord, our God, forever and ever. In that day, declares the Lord, I will gather the lame. I will assemble the exiles and those I have brought to grief. I will make the lame my rem remnant, those driven away a strong nation. The Lord will rule over them in Mount Zion for, from that day and forever. As for you, watchtower of the flock, stronghold of daughter Zion, the former dominion will be stored to you. Kingship will come to daughter Jerusalem. Why do you now cry aloud? How you no, Have you no king? Has your ruler perished? That pain seizes you like that of a woman in labor. Writhe in agony, daughter Zion, like a woman in labor, for now you must leave the city to camp in the open field. You will go to Babylon. There you will be rescued. There the Lord will redeem you out of the hand of your enemies. But now many nations are gathered against you. They say, let her be defiled. Let our eyes gloat over Zion. But they do not know the thoughts of the Lord. They do not understand his plan, that he has gathered them like sheaves to the threshing floor. Rise and thresh, daughter Zion, for I will give you horns of iron. I will give you hooves of bronze, and you will break to pieces many nations. You will devote their ill-gotten gains to the Lord, their wealth to the Lord of all the earth. Micah chapter 5. Marshal your troops now, city of troops, for a siege is laid against us. They will strike Israel's ruler on the cheek with the rod. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me, one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Therefore Israel will be abandoned, until the time when she who is in labor bears a son, and the rest of her brothers return to join the Israelites. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, and the majesty of the name of the Lord is God. And they will live securely, for then his greatness will reach to the ends of the earth. And he will be our peace when Assyrians invade our land and march through our fortress. We will raise against them seven shepherds, even eight commanders, who will rule the land of Assyria with the sword, the land of Nimrod with the drawn sword. He will deliver us from the Assyrians when they invade our land and march across our borders. The remnant of Jacob will be in the midst of many peoples, like dew from the Lord, like showers on the grass which do not wait for anyone or depend on man. The remnant of Jacob will be among the nations, in the midst of many peoples, like a lion among the beasts of the forest, like a young lion among flocks of sheep which mauls and mangles as it goes, and no one can rescue. Your hand will be lifted up and triumph over your enemies, and all your foes will be destroyed. In that day, declares the Lord, I will destroy your horses from among you and demolish your chariots. I will destroy the cities of your land and tear down all your strongholds. I will destroy your witchcraft, and you will no longer cast spells. I will destroy your idols 
and your sacred stones from among you. You will no longer bow down to the work of your hands. I will uproot from among you your Asherah poles. When I demolish your cities, I will take vengeance and anger and wrath on the nations that have not obeyed me. Amen.